Hello, and welcome to James Lesser's Express Lane, where we get you out as fast as possible. Yeah, speaking of clowns, NFC East. I know we're on like week nine or whatever, but they still suck. They are still absolute trash. Do any of those teams have four wins? I don't think so. And if they do, it's because they got lucky and they played against one of the other NFC East teams. Trash. Anyways, this week will be harder than ever before. So many 5-3 and three teams out there, many of whom they lost in humiliating fashion. Others were on bye week. It's like, oh, do you choose a bye week team because they didn't lose, but they're still the Browns because the Browns suck. And don't get me wrong, they could make it 9-7. and seven. They could very well make it 9-7. and seven. More likely than not, I'm thinking it's going to be 8-8 eight eight at best. But they're already at 5-3. Yeah. That means they got three more wins. Do you really think they have three more wins under the belt? No. They could barely beat the Bungles. They, they're not going to get that three wins. If they're lucky. They could. But I don't think so. So I'll go with number 12, the Bucks. I won't drop them from the top 12, but they still have all the talent in the NFL. Every single free agent went there. Every single one. And so it got stopped. It's the first time Tom Brady's been swept by a divisional opponent ever. Ever. He's never been swept by a divisional opponent the entire time in the AFC East. Wow. Welcome to the real world, Tom Brady. It's not the Jets every freaking week. <laughs> Number 11. Uh, we'll go with the Cardinals. Very close and bad coaching. Bad coaching costs them that game. Do you go for it on fourth and inches? Nah, kick the game to... Oh, wait, missed field goal. With that talent, how do you not go for it? How do you not go for it with all that talent? Drop a trick play. Quarterback sneak. I mean, how do you not... It's inches. Quarterback sneak that shit. But, bad coaching. Mm, what you gonna do about it, right? Number 10, I was going to make them 11, but they did beat the Cardinals, so we'll go with the Dolphins. So feel Fitzmagic should be out there as it's the defense winning the games, not Tua. But I guess he can be eased into the swing of things by being told, hey, go out there and don't lose the game. Just go out, be safe, get the reps in. Can they kid this up? I mean, they got the bills to come. And you're not having your quarterback go out there and not lose the game. You need your quarterback to go out there and try to win the game. Just saying. Number nine, the Colts fall. Defense was still good, but nowhere near good enough against the Ravens. Will they bounce back? Yeah. At this point, you can probably think of some of those players like, why? I'm going to risk going out there and getting hurt. I'll go out there and play, but at 80% speed because I'm not risking getting hurt. Number eight, the Peckers. Sorry, but beating the 49ers when they have to have fans come out of the stands just for the roster spots isn't that big a deal. But they did win, remain healthy, and gotta wait to see what happens next. I mean, they lost to the freaking Vikings one week. Beat the 49ers next week, but again, 49ers have no players. They're all second, third, fourth fans out of the stands. So I have to wait and see. It's been, what, two, three weeks since they played a real team? Just saying. Yeah, well, played and beat a real team. Next, number seven, the Titans beat the Bears. Man, the Bears thought it was going to be a good season when they switched to Big Nick Foles, and yet, they just can't win. Especially not against the team of Derrick Henry and Ryan Tannehill. Man, Tannehill getting out of Miami was the best thing that could have ever happened to him. Playoffs again, baby. After all those years just wasting away in Miami... That's going to be going to back-to-back -back playoffs. Nice. Number six, the Seahawks fall. Russell did not look like the MVP out there. Did the Bills defense watch more film? Practice harder than other defenses? No idea, but man, they made the Seahawks look like, well, not good. But that means Pete Carroll's probably going to beat the shit out of his team and get him into shape for next week. Just saying. Hate to be that team. When you get the Seahawks coming back for revenge, yikes. Number five, Ravens. They lost half their team to injury or the coof, but still beat the Colts. Can they keep this up until healthy? Have to wait and see, but 
Man. Of course, how many more players are going to have to be dropped due to Koof? This could be a really bad two, three week stretch for the Ravens of like, hey, we would have won if we had all of our players. Yeah. Other teams have had to suffer through it, so I guess it's their turn to suffer. Number four, Sway. Ah, wow. Saints sweep Brady. So, really, it's the first time in Tom Brady's career that he's been swept in a season. Hell, the Saints even got Jameis Winston to go out there and toss the ball around a bit. Seriously, looking like Super Bowl contenders with that kind of domination. Oh. Again, short of coup for injury, I guess. Number three, Bills beat the Seahawks. How amazing. Getting into the top three for the first time of the year. Just wow. Put up the most points against the Seahawks this season as well. Why can't they play like that every week? If they play like that every week, they'd be undefeated. They'd be steamrolling their opponents. They'd be putting second, third stringers out there in the fourth quarter. Man. Next, number two, the Chiefs beat, well, all but one team so far. This time was the Panthers. Poor Panthers. Looking dang good for the meeting against the Steelers in the playoffs. Playoffs? Talking about playoffs. God, it's going to come down to these two teams for one and two seed in the AFC from the looks of it. Oh, what am I talking about? Oh, that's right. Number one, Steelers beat the Cowboys to remain undefeated. It was an ugly win with a lot of help from the refs. A lot of yellow flags out there to make sure the Steelers stayed in it. But hey, still undefeated. First time they've been 8-0. Oh, except I heard that Big Ben and others are being benched for the coof. ruh ruh raggy so going eight and zero to eight and two real quick, and then finishing fourteen and two, which losing the team for a couple of weeks due to the coof could make the difference between again the number one seed and the number two seed. We think it's been going this year. Yikes! Just saying. But with that, guys, what do you think? Did I move the Bills up too far? Seahawks down too far? Should the Dolphins even be on here? Like, eh, it's tough. Like, yeah, but they're five and three, and they just beat the cards. Yeah, but the Cardinals beat themselves with bad coaching. But they they still won. They still beat the Cardinals, so yeah, I guess we'll keep the Dolphins there. But what do you guys think? Let me know. Oh shit, kid is under eight minutes. As always, like, subscribe, comment down below, and have a wonderful day. Ha! Screw you, YouTube algorithm. Not hitting me with that bullshit.